Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this edition, we're going to take a look at the uh, Proto CNC shield uh, attached to the Arduino. Basically, it's a shield configuration that uh, plugs into the Arduino, it is a typical shield configuration. Um, also, comes with uh, a set of four ramps. Uh, which plug into the ramp headers that you see here. In this case, I'm building this particular unit for a laser cutter, so it doesn't have a Z axis. So what I've included is the uh, the X, the Y, and a clone of the Y. So because my laser cutter is going to have two Y steppers, um, if you kind of look back at some of the uh, previous episodes, I've so shown the structure, and we'll kind of maybe jump into that a little bit later uh, and show how that works. However, it will have uh, two steppers. So what I'm going to do is clone this. Now, one of the things when I got this, um, I found very little initially on this CNC shield. And so I wanted to do a video on it to kind of uh, help others uh, go through. And, and I'm going to point out some websites in the description below, etc., that will help you out. Uh, but I want to hit a couple different things. And again, we'll jump to the computer and we'll look at this in a little bit more detail. However, I wanted to show you on the actual physical unit, kind of talk through uh, several of the key key components. So one of the key components is the actual uh, X, Y, and Z modules and the clone module. So the one thing you'll notice is that the uh, actual modules are yellow for the X, Y, and Z and the clone module in this board. I think this is the Revision 3 board is actually red. Uh, the other piece underneath each one of the ramps uh, are the steppers. So basically we'll go over this on the computer a little bit on the website. However, I do want to show you where this is in, re in the physical layout. So these are underneath and you need to set these before and basically uh, this sets the number of micro stepping so unset it's it's basically one step and then I think with this board I'm not 100% sure but I think it goes to, to 64 steps or something like that again I, I'll show you on the computer in a little bit uh, but I want to point out the location also these are keyed to go in a certain way and I'm not sure if you can quite see it but um, in this top corner uh, you'll notice that there is an EN, and then if you look on the board, there is also an EN right up here by the tip of the, the screwdriver. So when you put that in, basically EN has to go towards EN, so that kind of like pin one. So you have to make sure you get them in correctly. The other set of jumpers that's important to understand are these right here, the, this set, which are blue and yellow and they jumper across. So for example, if we want to clone, in this case I, I will, I will want to clone uh, Y, what I'll have to do is put two jumpers across here this way. And again, we'll look at this on the computer a little bit more, but this set is for cloning the, the red jumper. Uh, this set here exposes the uh, steps and directions out. If you watch my video on converting a parallel machine to garble, you can you can see what this means. Is basically is just a pass through from the Arduino to here, so you could actually use the shield to also drive external controllers as well as internal controllers. Now over here, this is pretty well documented. You have basically spindle engage. You have coolant. Um, you have a board hold. Uh, you have your e-stop. So again, all these pins are basically lifted from the uh, um, actual Arduino. I actually believe too, from reading the um, uh, the website for this, you can actually uh, set an open or closed end stop because you can see right here this set is for end stops. So uh, again, and, and then you know, so that's a cool feature, and then. Up here, you basically have signal and ground, and you can see um, really closely what those are, are titled. But your main ones will be through here, here, and here. Naturally, your motors attach here. You have the standard DuPont four pins here. You have the reset, and then obviously you simply plug into the USB for um, the Arduino. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward. Again, very cost-effective. Uh, quite a bit cheaper than the uh, 
uh, garble shield, if you will. Oh, the other piece mentioned, obviously, your power goes in here 12 to 36 volts, depending on, on what you're going to drive. Uh, for the laser, since it's really not pushing anything, I'm just going to go 12 volts, make it easy, because uh, it's just pushing a little laser around. There's no resistance. Again, if I was going with a CNC machine, I'd go a little bit heavier to uh, drive more overall voltage and current, i.e. wattage, to the motors themselves. So, Anyways, um, I'm going to switch over to the computer here in a minute, and I'm going to walk you through the uh, actual website to show you a little bit of the settings, give you the website address, uh, and those type of things. So, see you on the computer. So here we are at the computer. So we're going to take a look at the uh, CNC shield. So uh, uh, now I think one thing to note here is the website protoneer.co.nz New Zealand. Um, basically, this is the site you want to go to, and, and it's uh, the extended is Arduino CNC Shield version 3 assembly guide. And again, I'll put the link down below in the video so you won't have to worry about um, uh, finding this, but just, just so you know on, on general. So um, there's actually a couple different uh, sites if you go to this. The site itself is a little bit hard to navigate. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was a little bit hard to find, and that's why I wanted to do the video. So kind of jumping back uh, a little bit before we get into that, what I want to do is just show a couple different things. So as I mentioned, the red board that, that I showed was or is the version 3 of the CNC Shield. There are other versions. Uh, there's a version 2 and a version 1, and you can see the color of the boards and the kind of the configuration. Uh, differs a little bit. Uh, however, the basic concept is, is the same. It's running the ramps. Uh, you can see the ramps here. Uh, it's basically what type of pins and things it's pulling forward. And you can obviously see, um, you know, the three has the most going for it. So with that said, let's jump over a little bit uh, and take a look at the, some of the more the pinouts uh, with a little bit more time at hand. Uh, so, as I mentioned it before already, we, we've taken a look at uh, uh, the board. Here it is without any of the components. Apparently, this board's also sold as a kit, so you can assemble it yourself um, if you want to do it. However, looking at the, the board itself it is is pretty good because it doesn't have all the stuff cluttering it up. So, again, as I mentioned in in this this section right here that you where I'm hovering over with the mouse. Uh, is where it's just pulling the pins out. So if you want to drive another external controller, uh, you can take you know the signals from from this area, drive the controller, uh, as I mentioned before in my uh, you know driving a parallel port machine with this. This is where you would get the signals from. This piece down here is the clone. Um, so basically, you can clone by going across to these two, uh, you know these two, and then these two. Uh, you can clone the X, you can clone the Y, you can clone the Z, or you can create a fourth axis. Now keep in mind, Garble doesn't allow the control of a fourth axis at this time. So uh, if you're going to use Garble with this, it's going to be these. I'm sure if you use something like Marlin, that's sort of the concept here, is you could drive a fourth axis sort of like an extruder. As mentioned, below is the power. And then once we take a look at the ramps, again, X, Y, Z and your A axis for your fourth axis or your clone axis. Um, also in here are the micro step controllers. We'll get to the uh, settings on these in a minute. Uh, here, over here is the power. Uh, again, notice this EN. So this is your your kind of like your key for pin one. How to plug in plug in your ramps. This section over here is the where I'm kind of hovering with the mouse. Is again where the motors are going to attach to. This piece up here, basically power and signal for an external programmer. You notice you have RX and TX for controls, as well as reset ground uh, and in power and signal out. Uh, here are your end stops for uh, you know Z plus, Z minus, uh, you know Y and X, etc. Spindle enable, spindle direction, cool and enable, abort, hold, resume, E stop. So you kind of get the idea. Uh, now what we're going to do is kind of go down since you have that idea and again it gives you a little bit more expanded view and you can start seeing they kind of walk you through the assembly of the board and you can see it coming together um, a bit and you can see the ramp controller here 
and then but I, what I want to do is go down a little bit further so all right so here's where we talk about um, fourth access configuration or, or in other words cloning uh, the the fourth or the red module so you can see here you basically jumper these to um, clone the X you jumper this to clone the Y Z and then you go across these to enable the fourth um, stepper for you know pins d12 and d13 obviously step and direction uh, if you're running something like marlin again pretty straightforward this site also has the end stop configuration uh, where it talks about configuring the end stop now remember i mentioned when we were looking at the board there's two configurations for this which i think is pretty cool so you can you know have you know if it pulls it low or if it pulls it high uh, so whether it's normally open, normally closed, you simply set the jumper down here at the bottom and you can set your end stops. Uh, and I believe it already has a pull-up resistor in line, so that is actually pretty cool. Now we look at uh, basically setting the micro-stepping, because we are going to do micro-stepping on the laser. So uh, uh, basically depending upon which driver you have, whether it's the uh, 4988, or the 8825 with the with the first you can go to 116 step you can go to 132nd i thought i'd read 164th but i must have been wrong so 132nd step um on the uh, 8825 and so again you can see the the jumper set so in this board basically they have the x-axis cloned and then they have this set for basically uh, 116 now notice the orientation of the the jumpers so these are going vertical these are going horizontal and it's first two pins second two pins so uh, this board's a little bit more clear because you can see uh, step and direction in the cloning uh, which makes it a little bit uh, easier to understand so anyways uh, again I'll put the links down below for this if you're gonna set this up um, this is uh you know the place you want to come for this and uh, hopefully uh, if you're setting it up uh, it works smooth for you it seems to have gone pretty well for me now that i found this page uh, i also put some other links uh, to the board itself in the descriptions below and uh, please hit like uh, every little bit helps us uh, to keep producing more instructional videos and we appreciate your time